Welcome back friends to the shop. April 3rd, a Wednesday, overcast and chilly today. And I thought it might be kind of fun to, to share with you, it would do a bit of a big unboxing here uh, to some gifts and packages that uh, fellow, subs or fellow subscribers, subscribers have uh, uh, sent for my birthday. Uh, so let's come on in here. Some I've opened, some I haven't, uh, but I see there's some really cool stuff. So I think you might enjoy it. All right, let's start this out with a, a, a new knife. Gerber uh, sent me, uh, I don't know what this what knife this is called. They just said they were gonna send me a new, uh, or an EDC knife. Uh, that's what this looks like. I've carried it for a couple days and it's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't, it's made in the USA, I know that. S30V, a very pointy, pointy tip on it. That's a little different and all aluminum and it's, it's really nice. I think it even is ball bearings. Man, it almost flips out like a, an assisted opening. Um, I, get, I think as time goes on, it's getting harder and harder to get excited about knives because there's just so many of them. I mean, I, I just don't watch knife, re, knife reviews anymore. I, I, I really liked them back in the day, but it's gotten to the point where there's just so many and it's like, you, I just, you kind of, you just get burnt out on the whole thing. Or maybe I do, I kind of move on to other things, but thanks to Gerber for that. That's a very, very nice little knife. I do, I do like it very well put together. All right, let's jump into this. Now I have to apologize. I know, Ken and Lou, both of you guys sent some stuff and I'm, I'm like a petulant child and I get these packages and I get excited and I tear them open to see what's inside and then I got them all mixed up and I can't remember who sent what and so please let me know in an email. I, I'm actually, I, I'm way behind on my emails. I gotta answer those today. I'll try to, if I haven't answered your emails in the last 10 days, I will try to get to those uh, today. So either, I believe this is either from Ken or Lou, but this is very exciting to me because it's an, an, an Nipex box. And I'm a recent convert to Nipex tools, but I absolutely, that's a little bit tight there, isn't it? Let's bring it out. Uh, a recent convert to their tools, they make pliers and cutters and of course, you know, everything in, from, in, made in Germany and they are fabulous. So I don't, I don't know what's in here. We'll find out together, but this is exciting. Now that's interesting. I've never seen anything like this. So this is, what is this? It looks like it's a, it looks like a pipe wrench, like a German version, you know, made in Germany, of course, you know, look at them. It's beautiful, isn't it? They are, I don't have a lot of their tools. I just bought, what did I buy? I just bought their little tool for my dirt bike gear. gear. Let me show you this one. I needed something that would be able to, to do almost solve any problem or fit any nut or bolt in an emergency. This is actually the first one um, that I got right, right here. Look at that. I've, I've bought, actually, that's not true. I bought two pair of channel locks and I've loved them so much that I was so excited when I, I've given them away to my buddies. <laughs> the guy that works on my motorcycle, you know, he, he was struggling with some dodgy uh, pliers. And when I went back down there, I, I gave him a pair and he's been stoked uh, ever since. But uh, that's my, uh, my favorite brand. It, when I replace anything that I replace in the future, I'm gonna replace with that. But this is kind of interesting. Uh, so, uh, of course, a pipe wrench is infinitely adjustable to grab onto things, um, but this one is different because it's got this deal. So the whole thing slides. It looks like it gives you maybe more range or bigger. You can, well, maybe not. Kind of a different take. I wonder what, what's this for? This, it's got a tail on it, like it's made for, you know, getting in and digging or prying on something. I don't know what these are for. If you know what these are for, apart from just general plumbing, is what I'll probably use them for, um, let me know. But we, these are beautiful. I really, really love the Nipex. Okay, let's move on here. All right, so this was sent here. Got to keep the name out. This is a nice gift uh, by Pronghorn Ironworks in Billings, Montana. Uh, obviously a proper blacksmith, unlike myself, and he sent me uh, some hold downs. I was very excited about this because I don't, I don't have these, and this is will give you kind of a third. What, is this is so tight there. This will kind of give you a third hand uh, when you're working on stuff on your anvil. I haven't used one. I don't know if it goes in the Pritchard hole or the Hardy, uh, but you you slam that in there and hit it with a hammer, and it and it kind of pinches and binds and locks your work down. So I was really excited about those. Thank you very much from Pronghorn. Pronghorn Ironworks. Let's set that aside here. 
Now this one here is another one I'm confused about because I, I got these all kind of arrived at the same time. This either, I think, Ken, you probably sent this one, thanks, if that was you or was it Lou? <laughs> I, I, I have got to make a better effort. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a Sharpie. I'm going to write uh, right, right on the item so I don't forget. Oh, no, this has a heart in it. This has the same touch mark as... Oh, look at that right there. Oh, I just answered, solved the mystery right there. So this is also, this is also from Pronghorn. Because, oh, see, that's why you put a touch mark in there, see, right there? So that's his touch mark, the little heart with a circle around it. Well, that is really, I am so excited about this. Unfortunately, I have kind of a, a low budget anvil uh, and it has little tiny holes and these don't fit in there, but I am actively looking for a big anvil I've actually got a search on Craigslist list that I've been watching and hopefully one will come up um, And I can I'd like to get like a 200 pounder or 180 pounder which these will fit in there. So that is uh, I'll have that to look forward to so thank you very much uh, For those uh, what a nice gift that is I'll be able to cut steel on that This is a bending fork if I didn't mention you can put material in there and you can bend around there Man, nice welding. Beautiful. Very, very talented. Okay, so this one here I know is from Ken. Hold on, I'll open it from the bottom here so we don't have to hide the labels there. Oh, that is a sharp, pointy little knife right there. It almost gives, it's so sharp and pointy, it almost gives you the willies when you get it out because it's so, you wouldn't want to get stabbed with that thing. Okay, so this is from, I know, no, yeah, this is from Ken. Oh, this has got a whole bunch of stuff here. This is the gifts that keeps on giving. We have here, earliest, Atkins Saw book. Oh, it's a cross cut. Oh, I love this stuff. I have a whole collection of this stuff, Ken, and it's getting so hard to find. Look at that. We've got the, all the old techniques. This is so valuable. You can't even find this stuff online hardly anymore. A lot of these old manuals, the, the manufacturer would uh, create them and they would show best practices, you know, that has, had been handed down for generations from carpenters, like how to do dovetails and all that stuff. That is really nice. I like that. Thank you, Ken. Beautiful. What else? We got all sorts of fun stuff in here. We got a sign. Remember, as far as everyone knows, we are nice. Nor we are a nice, normal family. Yeah, as far as everyone knows, isn't that <laughs> appropriate? I heard a. I was sitting on a pastoral. Uh, a pastoral. Um, these are personal photos for the family. I'm going to keep those private. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, a pastor. Oh, I love Inca rules. I love the, this stuff in the workshop. So these Inca rules. If you haven't seen them. Let's get to the pastor story. So uh, pastoral selection committee, our pastor retired when we were getting a new one. Uh, and I had a, one of the guys said that was an old wise guy. He's like, I don't want to talk to the pastor and hear it from his mouth. I want to talk to his wife. Then I'll find out, you know, she's lived with him. She knows what type of guy he is. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> good, things, good thing our wives keep our confidence, right? Because the, uh, well, they could make us or break us, I think, in many cases. But these are really nice. They are precise. You can put a, a really detailed, small, uh, pencil, like a, a mechanical pencil that actually fits in the marks if you really are OCD like myself and, and like to get down to the, the nitty gritty of things. All right, we got here um, dehydrated water right there. That's always nice to have in your, um, uh, in your larder. You just open that up there and just fill it with water and it reconstitutes. It's really cool. I found that useful. So this, a useless box. For, oh, this is for this is for the sweet loaf. Okay. Well, what is it? Now I want to open it because I I'm curious. I'll open it for her. How about that? I, I don't think she'll mind. So this is a box. That's beautiful, isn't it? It looks. Is it Japanese? What a gorgeous packaging too. Look at the color. Man, whoever put that together has good taste. That's gorgeous, isn't it? A useless box. I don't think any boxes. Oh, it's a, how fun is that? Is it a music box? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I ruined the whole, I ruined the whole surprise right there. Oh, she's gonna, she's, she's gonna love that. We're gonna have to, I'll turn the video camera on when she's, uh, when she sees this for the first time. So, cause she absolutely loves switches. 
uh, anything that's mechanical or switch it, she's fascinated by it. So she'll come over here and she's gonna open this. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And the hand's going to come out, right? Is it just random? So it roars. <laughs> you have to see that. Okay, so the, uh, that is the best thing ever. It turned its own switch off. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is about the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Ken. Do not touch. Do not touch. Hi, Eric. That's hilarious. What a beautiful, beautiful gift. Tell Sherry uh, thank you as well. I, will, I promise I will set the camera up um, discreetly and we'll have the sweet loaf come and touch, open that. She's a little bit grumpy right now because she's, um, not, she's not feeling well. She's got a little cold, but... We'll get it. Thank you very much. That's that's beautiful. Okay, what else? What else we got here? We've got the there's an oh there's another there's one for Jack. I'll I'll let Jack open that one. Okay, so this one here is from my um, my father-in-law Vinny, and he called me last night and asked me if he, if I liked the gift, and I said I hadn't opened it yet. I was going to open it all. We could all open it together, and he said if there's anything that's a duplicate, uh, that I have his permission uh, to pass it on. Uh, and that's always appreciated when, when uh, someone gives a gift, right? So what's this here? It looks very old. I'm glad to have this knife for this video. Okay, let's flip it over. Looks like it's meant to be opened this way. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. That's a set of... Uh, Actually, I need this. Is, this is something I do need. I've got some. I've got a small set. These are lathe tools. This is a much. Look, and this is a. Um, that's kind of like a Swedish carving knife. You can carve a bowl or any sort of a concave with that. That's a nice one. Yeah, these are beautiful. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, there's a gouge, kind of a spoon gouge. I don't even have any. I don't have these tools. So this is something that I actually really need. Look at that one. Well, they've got a name on them, Scripture House, Incorp Sculpture House, Scripture, that one is anyway. There's two Sculpture House, this one's, yeah, those, those are old, these are older here. These are more of the heirloom ones here. These are probably more machine made, but very, very nice. Yes, thank you, Vincent. I always, I always appreciate good tools. I don't know how he ever got that in there. I'll never get it back in there. Well, I'm, I'm just going to go put them on the lathe table anyway. Okay, so this is also from Vincent. So what I was going to say was if there's anything that I have a duplicate of, we can, we can give that one away. This is a big chisel. I definitely don't. What's a two, is that a two-incher? That looks like a two-inch timber framing chisel, and that's a nice one too. Maybe I can almost see the temper mark in that. Uh, we'll de-rust that. We might need to make a new handle for it. Look how heavy it is. I've got the Sorby chisels and they're not as heavy and it's even got that nice, look at that nice uh, kind of that, that uh, really sweeping radius to put it at a nice angle. It'll be a little bit more ergonomic than just this. Mine, the one I have is just straight, straight machine made. This is one that's more, this, this is a really high quality one and a socket chisel at that. The handles uh, got to go. Uh, but the original ring is still there, so we could keep that. It's got a little bit of mushrooming on it because someone has used it improperly and it's probably smashed on it with a uh, metal hammer. But we could, we could save that and use that for the new handle. So we'll, we'll make a handle for that. Thank you, Vincent. That's going to be a keeper for sure. Yeah, those are, those are super cool. All right. Ken also sent, I believe this is Ken. This is right, like, would just be like him because he's so, so thoughtful. Of course, the sweet loaf loves birds, um, and he sent a giant fruit, fruit and nuts high energy bird mix. So uh, we, the sweet, we're going to have to make a birdhouse for the sweet loaf. Okay, and finally, this is the longest one. I uh, a very nice care package uh, from Blake uh, and his lovely wife uh, in Louisville, Texas, who is an AMS oil dealer, and he sent me an AMS oil uh, care package. 
And you guys know, I mean, I, I love my, whenever I can have some free time to come out here and Jack and I would love to work on our dirt bikes. And I have, I am new to Amsoil, but I have fallen in love with Amsoil. I love their products and I'm seeking them out now. I exclusively run their, their oils in uh, transmission fluid and, uh, and such, and everything in my dirt bike uh, is either Lucas or Amsoil. But it's, uh, it, it, everything works so good and it's just so thoughtful. Little things like this, you know these little uh, straws, they're, they're hard to keep track of and they, you know, they tape them on the side, it's kind of a one-use tape, and then you lose them and then you make big messes with your WD-40 or whatever and you never know where these things are at because you want to go, you know, you want to have the spray and you want to have the fine deal for getting in behind stuff. Look at these little silicone holders there. I mean, it's just the little details that you get and you get those little details and little things like that just to make life easier with, with quality tools like snap-on is constantly amazing me with just the little details that make a difference but i love these little silicone deals because when you don't want to use it you can take it off and it just hangs out there and it doesn't um <laughs> he doesn't get lost. So he sent some metal protectant. So I've been using this on some of the bolts that have been rusting on my bikes and different things. And I'm really excited to try this one. This is a Arctic synthetic grease that doesn't get thick in cold weather. So you know how hard it is to pump grease into a tractor when it's cold. He's saying that this is, this stays, keeps its, its viscousness or viscosity. And then some two stroke. Oil. I'm not really clear on what that is. It says here you can, one oil covers all mix ratios. Tested and proven at, or to 100 to 1. Does that mean you can, I don't know, know exactly what that means. Um, why, I, I, why you would go outside of what the manufacturer speci specifies. So let me know about that in the comments because I'm just not really clear. Yeah, I think that's probably all we got time for today. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for uh, all the, the beautiful gifts and uh, really appreciate it. Sorry for mixing up. The, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that this one probably came from Lou, but maybe, I don't know. Let me know and I'll so I can get that straightened out. I'll get the video of that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.